Hey everyone, it's Dave for Gamers on Games, and we are going to be getting into this article here. And Henry Cavill's Warhammer film deal faces December deadline. Uh, as we are aware, uh, the Warhammer project with Amazon has faced uh, some, uh, some speed bumps, and we're going to be getting into all that in this article. So let's get into some Warhammer news. Games Workshop and Amazon have until December to agree creative guidelines or deal is off. The firm's latest financial report reveals. Now, just so you know, this one is another article by Timothy Linward. Uh, we have done a lot with uh, Timothy Linward's uh, articles because, honestly, they're really good. So, please, you know, do make sure you let uh, Timothy Linward know that his articles are well written, they are well covered, and uh, he does good work. The Warhammer 40k film and TV series deal uh, between Games Workshop and Amazon may fall apart this year unless the two teams can mutually agree creative guidelines by December 2024. That's according to new information revealed in Games Workshop's annual financial report published on Tuesday. Games Workshop granted exclusive rights to Amazon in relation to films and television series within the Warhammer 40k universe in an agreement announced in December of 2023. Celebrity champion of Warhammer 40k, Henry Cavill, has attached to the project both as an executive producer and prospective star. What form the prospective film and TV series might take is still uh, ephemeral, excuse me, uh, fans have speculated whether we'll see Cavill as uh, Captain of the Space Marines or one of the Primarchs in an adaptation of the epic Horus Heresy books, or with a totally new story involving one of the more human-like and cheaper-to-film 40k factions. According to Games Workshop's most recent annual report, it and Amazon uh, Content Services LLC are spending the 12 months uh, from December 2023 to December 2024 working together to agree creative guidelines for the films and television series to be developed by Amazon. The agreement between the firms will only proceed if the creative guidelines are mutually agreed. So I'm guessing they're hitting some creative differences overall. Um, I know that some people in who with a uh, less um less uh altruistic uh, views have blamed a lot of this uh on uh the introduction of uh the female custodes and that whole revelation and of course there are no women uh, uh space marines and all that kind of crap so um it could be that it could be something else um with no real definitive uh insight or you know leaks or revelations we don't know there's no information on how smoothly those discussions are proceeding amazon will want to reserve as much creative freedom as possible to manage budgets and accommodate its production processes elsewhere in its financial report games workshop describes ip protection as a key strategic risk for the business that is Quote, regularly reviewed by the board. The report states, quote, failure to protect our IP may erode our competitive advantage and or undermine our reputation, which will negatively impact our financial performance. This refers both to the risk of unlicensed use of uh, GW properties and to licensed use that distorts or diminishes the brand. Uh, you read into that how you, how you will. The deal with Amazon also gives it uh, the option to license equivalent rights in the Warhammer Fantasy universe following the release of the initial Warhammer 40k production to keep an update on the latest blah blah blah. So that's the end. But again, just to give you kind of guys kind of an update of what is going on that has now been done and uh, I hope that helps you all out. So here we go. Um, things are looking a little rocky. Things are looking maybe a little shaky. And uh, I guess we're all going to just have to kind of wait with bated breath to find out what's going to be the ultimate outcome of all of this. Again, my hope is that we do get a Warhammer 40k series out of this. That is a little bit easier for uh, those who already enjoy it and those who wish to get more information 
or potentially become more involved in the Warhammer 40k franchise uh, to have something that's a little more accessible and a little easier to digest and, you know, have that work in their favor. Again, I have always said that I think Hell's Reach is the best way to get involved and to get things started, but uh, I have had many tell me otherwise as, uh, to what their perspective is. So why not let me know your perspective in the comment section below? That's what it's there for. So, uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. Um, if you have a dollar that happens to be burning a hole in your pocket and you want to throw it our way, uh, do consider going to our Patreon, patreon.com slash gamers on games. You can see the address down below in the screen. Why not go and chuck a buck our way? And uh, that being said, we'll see you guys all next episode. Thank you for your time. Dave out.